Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to be teaching you how to go between a while loop and a for loop because they actually share the same components, it's just the way it's set up is a little bit different. So in the previous video I explained that with a while loop you're going to want to make sure you have an initialization, a condition, and an update. And that's for the very simple loop, but to generalize that you pretty much have to have a starting position, an ending spot, and progress. You have to make progress as you iterate through the loop or you'll have an infinite loop. Well, the same thing exists with the for loop, it's just set up a little bit different. With the default for loop with the range, the starting position or the initialization is going to be zero, the update is going to be increasing by one, and the stopping position is going to be 10 exclusive. So it's the same exact setup. These actually give you the same exact output. Here is for the for loop, and then if we scroll up a little bit, here is for the while loop. But these three pieces can actually be customized with the range as we've seen when we were talking about range, but just so you can coordinate the two, it would look like this. We have the initialization, the equivalent to the condition for range, which would be the stopping position, and then the update, which is the step. And this coordinates to this call right here where we have a start, a stop, and a step. So this should work exactly the same way and we get the same output twice still one from the while loop and one from the for loop. The reason I'm going through this, although it seems a little bit simple, is that I want you to see where each piece of the loop is shown for the while loop and then for the for loop. The only thing is that the positions are different. However, the step still happens at the end of the loop, just like in the while loop. With a while loop, you can customize it. So I could take this and I could put it here, or I could do it within some kind of condition. So it's a little bit more versatile, and maybe it's a little bit more visual seeing where things happen. However, the for loop is less verbose. There's less text you have to type to get the job done, especially if you don't need the step and the starting position. You can just say when to stop. That's very clean, very simple. The while loop, it's more verbose, and you have to make sure you put the update in the right position for everything to work right and maybe it's just a little bit more complicated. So either loop is fine, whatever you prefer, we're gonna be using both throughout this series. So stay tuned in the next video because we're gonna get a little bit more with the while loop and talk about a popular variation on how to use the while loop. 